Hello, my beautiful soul. This is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian. And the reading I have for you today is a conversation between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So we're going to see what the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine wants to talk about today. Grabbing some tarot and then I'm going to use the conversations using my unspoken words one and two. I've mixed them together. So we're going to see what they want to talk about. So, but this will be the Divine Feminine side. This will be the Divine Masculine side. So let's just put those aside and let's get what they want to talk about. What do they want to talk about today? So, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have nine of wands. So they both are acknowledging the fact that they are, they're hurt. They're wounded. They're broken, but they're holding on. They're going to make a last stand. They're going to make an effort to fight for this, fight for this connection. We have death here in reverse. There has been this fear of change, but they're going to allow this change to happen, even though that they fear it. There hasn't been any plans. There's been a lack of plans here for the two of them, but they're going to make a stand. They're going to hold on. They're going to allow this change to happen because they realize that it's for the highest and greatest good. We have here the universe has your back. So things are coming to completion. Cycles are ending so new ones can start. And they want to talk about this and how it fits into their self-fulfillment and how it fits into their finding harmony. They want to talk about this missed offer here with this four of cups here. They also want to talk about their foundations with this number four. They want to also talk about a new solid offer in the material world. A new start, a fresh start for the four, the both of them. We have here the lovers and we have temperance. They want to have talk about this new beginning, this new, this new, uh, this solid offer in the material world for these lovers, for this divine counterparts, for the divine masculine and divine feminine. And they want to talk about this being trapped in their head, being in this mental prison that they have created for themselves. So... Let's see here. Let's, you know what? I'm going to leave them up and let's go pull cards here. So, Divine Feminine, what do you want to say about the universe has your back? This is killing me. I can't keep it hidden anymore. When it comes to. Actually, no, I'm not going to leave it like this because there's not enough space. There's just not enough space. Okay, yeah. So, when it comes to this completion and this self fulfillment, they can feel it. The divine feminines can feel it. They're so close. They can almost touch it. They've been working on themselves. They've been fulfilling themselves. And they're just getting closer and closer. And it's this feeling of of, of almost being completely full, fully uh, healed is like almost within their reach. And it's like they can't take this 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 last little step anymore. It's too like... It's so intense and they want to talk to the divine masculine about this, talk to them and be like, you know, have you gone through this yet? Are you here yet? Can you like, can we please just talk about what's happening right now on these intense emotions, these intense feelings? Like I trust the universe. I know the universe has my back, but this feeling, it's all encompassing. It's so invigorating. It's all encompassing. What does the divine masculine have to say about this? I keep numbing myself from the pain. The divine masculine on the hand, this feeling, it's like, yeah, but there, but to them, it's like, it's, it's too painful. It's too much for them. So they numb themselves instead. They numb themselves and they don't allow themselves to feel this ecstasy because I feel like it's like the divine masculine can't deal with it right now because they don't have the divine feminine. They want to go through this ecstasy, this rush with the divine feminine. They want to be walking towards the finish line together, not individually. I feel like the divine masculine hasn't come as far yet on their journey, on their healing, to see that they need to do this separately before they can come together. They need to cross this feeling finishing line and fulfill themselves and find harmony within and complete themselves before they come together. So let's have a look at this uh, Four of Cups. Divine Feminine, Four of Cups. We have here 
all I want is you. What more can I say? So the Divine Feminine is like, I, I know, I, I gave you this offer. I know who I want. I know who I am. I know what I want. I also know what I need and what I don't need. And yes, this was a, a missed opportunity for you, Divine Masculine. I know what I want. I want you. I'm in my fields now. I'm all about my fields. I've been all about my fields. And you probably know this because I poured my heart out to you. Your love is unlike any I've known before. You might not even know your capability of loving, but I do. I see you. I feel it. You might try to hide it from me, but I see right through it. My actions and words will match my feelings. So know this, Divine Masculine. If this offer comes back around, my actions and my words will match. Divine Masculine. I know I never take things seriously, but I'm serious about you. I want to say that we had this last week as well, but I can't be 100%. I feel like I had this came out uh, at some point. Um, but they're serious about you. They keep numbing themselves because they don't want to feel the pain of not having you. They're serious about you, but they don't show it to you. I just want to love and be loved. They know that the offer that they missed was an opportunity, opportunity for them to love and be loved. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, Divine Feminine, when you say that next time around, I better come correct or not come at all. Because... This is my, my chance. If I want to build, rebuild these foundations, I need to give and receive equally. I want to be your little spoon or your big spoon. So I just want to be the person that gets to wake up with you, that gets to fall asleep with you. I want to be that person in your life. Ace of Pentacles, this new offer in the material, solid offer in the material world. Tell me what to do. So the divine feminine is like, yes, okay, we know this. We know that this solid offer in the material world is coming. We know we're having going to have a new start. But I need you, divine masculine, to tell me what to do. Where is my role in this? What do I need to do, if anything, to get us here? Divine masculine. I'm ready to love you the way you deserve to be loved. So what I'm getting from this is that Divine Matthew is saying, you know what? You don't need to do anything. I need to, I am ready now to finally learn to love myself. And I'm ready now to love you the way you deserve to be loved. So this solid offer that's coming is going to come from the Divine Masculine. For now, Divine Feminine, sit back, relax, and know that this is yours. Trust in Divine Timing. Trust that the universe has your back. Don't worry about the how, when, where details no know that he's ready you're ready it's coming the lovers this divine love what do you have to say about this divine feminine there's no other person i'd rather be with first of all than the divine masculine This thing between us grows stronger every day. The Divine Feminine can feel it because she feels you guys getting closer and closer to this new beginning. She feels this divine connection. She feels this partnership that you guys have together. Divine Masculine. This is not our time. Yes, so right now is not the time for the two of you because I'm learning how to love. I'm learning how to love so I can be ready to love you the way you deserve to be loved. So this is not our time, this moment right now. This moment here and now is not our time. I'm learning how to love. Our time will come. Again, trust in divine timing. Our time will come when I've learned how to love myself so I can love you the way you deserve to be loved. Temperance, healing and balance. Divine family. Please don't go. So the Divine Feminine is having a moment of doubt, a moment of crisis. Feeling that, you know, perhaps the Divine Masculine might step away and not do the work. But she's saying, please don't go. Stay with it. Find healing. Find balance. Yes, it's going to be hard. It's going to be painful. It's going to be tough. 
but stick with it it's worth it even if it doesn't even if it doesn't mean that the two of you us get back together but it will mean that you get to heal you get to be balanced and that's a good thing regardless of the outcome between you and i divine masculine ghosting you is just easier for me because they're going through a lot of pain a lot of healing so are you yes you are but for them to cope with the amount of pain that they're going through ghosting you is just easier and this leads us to the end here being trapped in your own mind the divine masculine is being trapped by guilt by worry by stresses by replaying the things that happen in between the two of you over and over again. So what does the Divine Feminine have to say about this? This is no longer hard for me. This being trapped in my own mind is no longer hard for me. Because now she's sorting out. Because with you forever is not long enough. In her head now she's sorting out the good from the bad. The... the um, whispers of insecurity the whispers of doubt limiting beliefs she's learning to recognize that voice so she can phase out that voice yes she'll hear it yes she'll uh, she will acknowledge it but she doesn't need to listen to it she's learning how to slowly but surely take herself out of this mental prison that she's put herself into divine masculine i cherish you and i feel like what what's coming out from this is that they might be trapped in this and because of how much they cherish you they're going to you you the memories of you is what's pulling them out the memories of you and how much they cherish you is going to was going to help them clear that fog to again themselves slowly get themselves out of there i don't know how to talk to you but they're going to learn this is what is going to happen in their headspace here. Is that they're going to learn how to talk to you, learn how to love themselves, learn how to get themselves out of this prison. You might take the divine masculines a little bit longer than divine feminines, but it's going to happen. You're both going to release yourself from this mental prison because you know that there is not. This is not where you belong. Your journey is taking you somewhere else. It's taking you to completion, to fulfillment, to harmony, to the lovers, to healing, to balance to a solid offer in the material world this is what is happening for you this is what's coming for you so thank you so much for joining me today with this conversation between the divine feminine and divine masculine please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined i'll talk to you next time bye